Amanil Kumar and here is a question from my student Amandeep. Well, this question is from his textbook. It is question number 13, page 393, functions written by Nelson. The question is, the diameter of a car's tire is 60 centimeters. While the car is being driven, the tire picks up a nail. How high above the ground is the nail after the car has traveled one kilometer? Well, Amandeep, thanks for sharing this question. I will kind of give you a hint of how to solve this and then you should be in a position to solve and further we can discuss the answer. Okay, basically in this particular question what we have is there is a car which picks up the nail, right? The car wheel picks up a nail. So let's say this is the wheel and diameter of the wheel is given to us diameter is 60 that means from here to the maximum the height is 60 for the wheel correct so at any instance of time the nail which is picked up it is going to be between 0 to 60 so that is kind of range for the height of the nail the other part is the car is being driven along the ground as the car drives as a car is driven the nail lifts up, right? But it comes back to the ground after one full cycle of the wheel. So in this case, distance traveled around the circumference of the wheel becomes periodic. Do you understand the point? So, so here, the period which we are talking about is circumference. Let me write down like this. Is the circumference, right? So distance traveled along the circumference which in this case will be pi times the diameter. Since the diameter is given to us as 60, we can write this as 60 pi. So that is a very critical part to understand. So here, when we are talking about height, so let's say height, it is function of distance traveled. So I'll write height as a function of distance d, and we will take distance along the x-axis. Since this unit is centimeter, we'll take distance in centimeters, right? So that is how we're going to work, and that's the base for us. Now I think you are in a position to answer this question. You know, once you know the period, you can write the equation of the graph. I mean, the nail's height. I would like you to pause the video at this stage, answer the question, and then look into my further suggestion. Okay. Now... Let's continue. Let us say the nail has been picked at this position. Car is moving forward. As the car moves forward, the nail moves counterclockwise, upwards. So that could be shown like a cosine graph like this. Is that okay? And then, then it will go like this. So that represents the height of the nail, this position, where the maximum is going to be 60. And x is, will be right in the center of 60 and 0, right? So that is how the situation is. So that is the cosine graph starting with the minimum. So we can think about it as minus cos. What I'm saying here is that height, if I write in terms of a with a negative sign, since the cosine graph starts in the minimum in this case, k times distance d, we are doing degrees, plus the axis, let me say x is, let us say q for us. So that becomes the general equation which you need to find. Do you get the idea, right? Now let us work out and find all these parameters. First thing, let's begin with k itself. Since we have the period, in terms of distance, it is 60 times pi in centimeters. Remember that part. So k will be equal to 360 degrees divided by 60 pi. So for the time being, 360 divided by 60 means 3, right? 3 times, I mean 6, sorry. 6, right? 6 divided by pi. So 6 divided by pi is the k value. You can always use your calculator, which I don't have at present. And then you find decimal value, right? So 6 divided by 
pi is kind of the value which we are looking for. Okay. Uh, now, that is a k value. To find a and q, we will begin by writing maximum and minimum. Maximum is 60 centimeters. Minimum for us is 0, right? So, a, which is difference of maximum minimum, divide by 2, right? That gives us 60 minus 0 divided by 2, that is 30. Q, the axis, is average value, which is maximum plus minimum divided by 2, or 60 plus 0 divided by 2, or 30. So, you got all that. Now, phase shift, since we have taken this negative sign, we are saying that the cosine function starts from the minimum, right? So, that takes care of the phase shift, correct? Once you put all these things together, you can say the height of the nail edge with respect to distance d in centimeters is equal to minus a value is 30 cos of k value 6 over pi okay times distance d which it travels right plus q this height which is half of this diameter which is 30 and the units are degrees for you, correct? Okay? So that is how you can write the equation. Once you have equation, then you can find the height of the nail at an instance of time. And since we have converted time to distance, kind of easy, it says how high above the ground is the nail after the car has traveled one kilometer. So now your distance is, let's say, one kilometer. So what you can do is, you can write D as one kilometers. Remember, in our case, D is in centimeters, right? So, height HD and D both are in centimeters. Therefore, you convert this kilometers to centimeters. That means 1000. So, when you say 1 kilometer, you can always say that 1000 meters is 1 kilometer. We want centimeters, not even meters, correct? So we say 100 centimeters equals to 1 meter. So that means we are looking for D as 100,000 centimeters. So you can always place this value, find your answer, and write it down, right? So I hope that gives you a fairly good idea about how to solve such questions. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.